finally, it was time to pack the car, rev up the old beauty, and head west. Crossing the bridge and five hours on the road, the landscape passing by my window looked oddly familiar, but things were different on this side of the sea. The flag had different colors, the accent was slightly different. Diesel felt a bit cheaper, and cheese smelled funny. This is my spring trip of 2023 to T National Park in Denmark. Welcome to the great wilderness of Denmark. At least mainland Denmark. I mean, both Greenland and the Faroe Island is part of the Danish kingdom. Or is it queendom? I mean, they do have a queen. They are kind of independent. So mainland Denmark, this is the biggest national park and the great wilderness of Denmark. Kind of feel like walking in one of the local woodlands at home. Don't tell the Danish. Uh, but it is this incredible beach here, and I have had, had it marked on my Google Maps for ages. And I did actually just arrive, but I had to just drive down to the beach and have a look over the hills. And And then I kind of figured I need to find somewhere to camp because I do plan on spending two nights here and I do f need to find a nice camp spot to have my base at. I think this could be it. It's fairly close to the parking lot, even though I kind of walked the wrong way around. I think it's closer the other way. Uh, and there is these wind shelters, uh, the one I'm sitting in here and one behind you. Strange thing, it is bookable. I can actually book this wind shelter never occurred to me that uh, that would be possible, but uh, there's one more there and uh, there is some space behind that as well where I could put up my tent, so that would be okay. And there's even some fresh water and, uh, and a toilet. Yeah, I think this will work, um, but the woodland here, they aren't the most beautiful. I mean, they are very reminiscent of uh, kind of the woodlands I have at home or close to home. So I'm not super intrigued to explore it. Uh, it's kind of not what, it's not why I traveled here. I want to explore the beach. It's a nice little thing here. There was uh, some photos there. Kind of super touristy, but <laughs> kind of nice when you've never been here. And they marked a couple of the hotspots. So I might just try and visit some of those. Yeah, back to the car. So yeah, we ended up in the car, due to three reasons. Firstly, I really wanted to check in with my partner at home, just to check in and say everything is okay, I've found a camp spot, uh, that sort of thing. Let them know that I'm okay. Secondly, I really wanted to check out that beach area that I initially drove to there. And if it's not too windy, I plan on staying out there until, well, almost sunset. And, uh, and see if I can make a couple of images of that place. And third reason, I need to change plans. I initially thought I would go out uh, and proper hike today uh, and tomorrow, or tomorrow, 
I like to have all, all everything on my back and tent and put up my tent and be out for for these two days. But the bag is way too heavy on my back. I'm just using my my Mindshift uh, camera bag, and uh, that's a decent enough bag. But I've loaded a bit too much. I probably need a proper hiking bag for these sort of trips. Um, and this is first time I'm out with uh, with the whole setup. So it's a trial and error. So I kind of changed plans on having a base camp. I think that would be those wind shelters. I kind of timed it. It uh, took about 50 minutes uh, to walk, about 50 minutes to walk from the parking lot to the camp spot. If you were walk the shortest road available and it was quite an easy route to walk. So I think that will be the way forward for these uh, two days I'm here for. So yeah. Let's see if we can find some signal and then we'll head to the beach and try and make some images of the, uh, try and make some more images today, some proper photography. I mean it's a, it is a photography channel. I'll do my best. So yeah, we made it, uh, just as the sun is about to set. So I haven't ventured too far from the car park, uh, as I need to get back and then uh, find back my uh, little campsite. I should notice there is some wind shelters here as, well, here as well, so I might just stay here, we'll see. Uh, so I ended up driving to another part of the beach here, so right by a lighthouse, in search of that cellular network. And there was some uh, Wi-Fi at the lighthouse, of course there was. Uh, and then I just felt I needed to expose a couple of frames at least, or one frame. So I brought along the Rolleiflex today, my lovely Rolleiflex 3.5. And I'm shooting Delta, Delta 400. Uh, I debated with myself if I would rate it as uh, ISO 200 instead of 400, just because I got a really fast shutter speed. One over 125th of a second, and it's approaching sunset. I wonder how it will fare tomorrow when it's daylight. Uh, the image itself, nothing too spe uh, special, uh, just shooting over this very alien-like landscape. Uh, it's really cool, really, really cool, with these grasses and these small hills and, and whatnot. And then in the background we kind of have the Danish mountains, so we'll see if it works. I'm just going to do a little small loop here, head back to the car, have some dinner and uh, find camp. But it felt good to at least expose one frame. Well. One frame, two images. I messed up the first one. I accidentally had locked the shutter and uh, just as I advanced the film, I just, wait a minute, was the shutter locked? So it never triggered the first image, I think. So I took a backup, so. Uh, see if we can find a, more, a couple more images uh, before the sun sets completely. So yeah, but nice to have one in the bank. So yeah, we are just waiting for the dinner to be cooked. Uh, some lovely, proper adventure food. Chicken curry, apparently. It is what it is. Um, kind of been rushed, rushed by my photography. Uh, kind of new to this outdoor thing and never been here before. Uh, it suited my, me quite well. I'm here in the off season, so this windshield I'm now is completely empty and I reckon there's room for 
reckon you can sleep five in each of these cabins and there's, if I count right, seven of them. So there are quite a lot of people fit here and uh, it's completely empty. I have the place all to myself. Uh, the benefit of going on the off season. And it suits me perfect uh, to try and explore this. And uh, this is more or less a trial trip. Uh, I'm not the biggest outdoor uh, person in the world. Uh, you would be forgiven to think that. I do love being out in the nature, but it's quite a new interest for me. I kind of discovered photography first, uh, photography first and landscape photography first, and then kind of grew a love of being out and explore. And I think it's more a love of exploring and see what's behind the next hill uh, that drives me. Uh, but tonight I've been rushed with the photography and I suppose this trip I won't produce anything amazing. It's more finding a rhythm and uh, finding what works for me. So I'll have my lunch now. I'll probably not stay here because this is kind of one of the hot spots. Uh, and I do not want to be waking in the morning. Uh, I plan on sleeping in a bit tomorrow. I don't think this is a sunrise kind of uh, location. I think it's more of sunset locations. Um, yes, because the sun rises inland. So I'll head back to the spot I found before. I think that suits me better. Uh, and I kind of want to try out the tent. Uh, I recently bought it, never used it. So I kind of want to try it out. So I probably head back there and set up camp there. But I think we call it a day for now. Uh, and we'll continue tomorrow. If that's in this video or in the next video, we'll see. For now, good night and bye.